Hi, this is Subalakshmi, Assistant Professor of Commerce BA, SFR College, Sabagasi. Uh, I am very happy to see once again through this video. So, in this video, we can see about the various types of product. Uh, we know that the product is the uh, main piece of marketing mix. Uh, first, uh, the four piece of marketing we know that the product, price, place and promotion. So, the primary piece, the first P is product. So, in this video, we can see about the product and its types of product. So, the learning objective is to know about the various kinds of product, to learn about the company's examples related to the product. So, we know that the product, it is an item offered for sale. So, anything offered for sale, it is maybe a tangible or intangible. So, anything uh, it is offered for sale. So, a product can be a service or item. So, a product may be a product or services, whether intangible or tangible. So, it can be a physical or virtual or cyber form also. So, we can see the product, we can feel the product. So, every product is made at a cost and each is sold at a price. So, every product we have some values, it has a sale values. So, these are the some of the examples of the product. Uh, so, the majority we think that the product uh, is only of uh, fast moving consumer goods. Even the product may be from a single uh, pin to the car or even from a services. So, types of products. So, the product may be broadly classified into two types, the consumer products and the industrial products. So, consumer products. Uh, we know that the consumer products or products that the ultimate uh, consumer purchases himself for direct use only. So, majority of the consumer product is for direct use. The consumer purchase the consumer products to satisfy his personal needs and desire. So, if a consumer needs the products only for his personal needs or personal desires, so that they can buy the product. So, here are the, some of the examples of consumer products. So, the daily use products like toothpaste, uh, snacks, eatables, textiles, uh, computers, etc. on the various such products. So, the examples of consumers products of various companies also, the majority of them are the fast moving consumer goods. So, the consumer goods are primary deal with the fast moving consumer goods. So, the major companies uh, have their fast moving consumer products are explained here. So, next uh, types of consumer goods, we know that the consumer goods are used by the consumers. Uh, so, here are the some of the types of consumer goods. So, the first one is the convenience goods, shopping goods and the specialty goods. So, here uh, uh, the consumer goods are broadly classified on the basis of the three criteria. So, first uh, shopping goods, to shop for these consumer products, consumer devote considerable time and effort. Uh, so, the before purchase decisions, the consumer spend some time and effort uh, whether we have to buy the product or not. Uh, they compare prices and futures and a lot of thought is involved before making the decision to buy. So, here some of the examples are the electronic items like uh, computers, tab, mobile phones and furniture items and the jewelry items. So, these products generally fall in high price range. Such products are pre-planned purchases. So, we have to pre-planned. After that, they have to buy the product. So, so these are called as a shopping goods. So, the next uh, convenience goods. So, such convenience product have ongoing and continuous demand. Uh, these are consumer goods that are very convenient to purchase. So, it does not need much effort, much amount, much time before uh, making a purchase decisions. They are brought frequently and with lesser effect. Examples are, so we have to buy the medicine, toiletries, newspapers, eatables, etc. So, here are the some of the examples of the convenience goods. We can see the majority of the products are the fast moving consumer goods. So, toothpaste, soap, uh, washing powder, eatables, snacks, vegetables, medicines. So, we have to buy the product 
with the lesser buying making decisions we does not need uh, much effort and time to spend before making the purchase decisions so next the specialty goods so for specialty products consumers make special effect so much more effect and much more effect to buy them so they are not you regular run of the mill consumer products the buyer is willing to go through a lot of effect to purchase such products so take for an example the artwork painting sculptures etc here are the some of the examples so the demand for such specialty products is usually pretty or limited and the prices are very high so the next uh, industrial goods so consumer goods we have to classified uh, and the next one is the uh, industrial goods so industrial goods these are products which are used as a input for manufacturing other products so it is the input not it is a consumer pro used products so it is the input for the industries to produce other products unlike the consumer goods these are not for direct consumption these are meant for business and non personal use it is meant not meant for personal use or direct usage some of the examples are so the raw materials machine tools etc here the demand for industrial products is limited since they are not a consumer goods the demand for them is not vast so the three broad categories of industrial goods are as follows so these are some of the classifications of the industrial goods so machine and uh, machine parts capital items business supplies services and uh, supplies so these are uh, major categories of uh, industrial goods there are some other categories is also so these are the most common categories of industrial goods so machine and uh, machine parts uh these goods are used entirely in the manufacturing processes they include raw materials like cotton lumber petroleum etc they also include manufactured product like glass rubber also so the next one is the capital items these are goods or products used to manufacture finished goods they include installations like lift main from computers etc and equipments hand tools personal computers etc so the next one is the business services and supplies so these are industrial goods and services that facilitate the manufacturing process they include services such as painters technicians maintenance and repairs and the process such as lubricants and stationery are also included in the business services and supplies so with this conclusion in this video we can see about the various kinds of uh, product uh, and their major classifications with live examples hope you all like this video and uh, you know something about the types of products so thank you for watching this video